What's up, Scorpio? My beautiful, beautiful Scorpios. Hey, I just want to say real quick, thank you so much for stopping by the channel. I really love and appreciate each and every one of you. I hope that this uh, first few weeks of the new year is treating you well. So we are just going to get a real quick um, reading going here for you guys. So I'm just going to ask my spirit guides, Archangel Michael, uh, for three cards for my lovely Scorpios. Um, and, you know, this is going to be a reading that we're going to keep under five minutes. So we're just going to see what the future energies are for you guys. This is a near future coming up into the full moon. Um, okay, so the end of a tough cycle is approaching. I love that. The energy for that is gaining momentum. Um, my Scorpios have been going through it lately in relationships. So many of you expect a powerful change. They want you to meditate. Okay. It's there at the bottom of the deck and there are adjustments. Adjustments do need to be made. Okay. But Scorpio, let's talk about this. Okay. So the end of a cycle, uh, approaches it's the full moon in Capricorn. And, you know, I know from based on past readings that I've done for you guys, there's been a lot of, I think, karmic stuff going on for Scorpio. And I think that that is coming to an end. It, I feel like some of you have been back and forth in a relationship, um, a place you were putting your energy and it's time to close that out is what I'm hearing. Um, many of you realize it's time to close it out. And so that's the, the energy here that's gaining momentum is you're starting to come to that realization that this is not serving my highest good. Like this is just bringing me down. My, it's sucking the life out of me. You might be dealing with an energy vampire, someone who is not, um, supportive, someone who really is just thinking of themselves. They don't know how to be honest. So, um, that's not for all of you, but there's a good portion of Scorpios out there that this is what's happening. And the spirit's just wanting you to expect a powerful change. Like there's going to be some sort of powerful, powerful change, right? Like we've got an eclipse here. So, um, yeah, new moon eclipse. So, somewhere around the new moon is what I'm hearing. You know, we'll have the full moon go into a new moon, um, you know, stage of, of the cycle of the moon. And that's, I think when this is going to be coming into play, that's that energy that is uh, gaining momentum is going to be, you know, um, it's going to be coming through and you're going to, um, you're going to be making some changes which is why that adjustment card is here. There's going to be some adjustments that are necessary for this to actually happen. And Spirit is saying, work through your fears over it. There's nothing to fear um, because this is a destined, um, this is destined to happen. And Spirit has your back on this one. They know that this change is necessary for you, Scorpio to get back on to your path. They know that this is, um, you've been dealing with someone here or multiple people, you know, and it doesn't have to be love. It can be work. It can, it can be anything that, um, it's bringing you down. It's, it's, you've lost your momentum. You've lost, um, focus. Um, you're not happy with whatever this is that's going on, but that, that, change is about to take place. So, you know, give it, give it a few weeks. Um, and you're going to start to see some major changes happen in your life, a huge transformation for many, many of my Scorpios. So that's what I have for you guys, Scorpio. Um, thank you so much for checking out the video. I really appreciate all of you. You take care and I'll see you on the next Scorpio video. Bye guys.